Here are the Rahu K2 transit predictions for Pisces moon sign. Rahu will transit to the seventh house from the moon in your birth chart, and K2 will transit to the moon sign in your birth chart. Since K2 moves into your own moon sign, this transit will be especially intense for you. You may feel more detached or indifferent than normal. In general, you can expect matters related to relationships and your life partner, a confusion in your thought process, lack of clarity about life goals, and issues related to health and business. This information is to help you prepare yourself for the challenges ahead. To know whether your experience will be positive or not, please consult an expert Vedic astrologer or get a personalized report through astroved.com. First, let's look at your Rahu transit predictions for the next 18 months. From July 13th, 2014 to November 15th, 2014, Rahu transits through Chitra star. Mars, the planet which governs Chitra, rules the second house and the ninth house from your moon sign. The second house indicates family and finance, and the ninth house indicates father and spiritual interests. So these are the areas likely to be triggered for you. During these four months, you can expect satisfactory financial position, marriage of one of your family members, discontentment with your current professional situation, some financial benefits from ancestral property, concerns about your father's health, an inclination and more time spent on spiritual practices. From November 15, 2014 to July 25, 2015, Rahu transits through the Hosta star. Moon, the planet which governs Hosta, rules the fifth house from your moon sign. This house indicates creativity, romance, and children, so these are the areas likely to be activated for you. During these eight months, you can expect chances of birth of a child in the family, display of artistic skills on some projects, enjoyable relationship, but minor fights with your partner are possible, lack of focus on studies among students due to distraction, and an inclination and more time spent on entertainment. From July 25th, 2015 to January 30th, 2016, Rahu transits through Uttara Falguni star. Sun, the planet which governs this star, rules the sixth house from your moon sign. This house is related to debts, litigation, and illness, so these are the areas likely to be energized for you. During these six months, you can expect good progress for those in government service, treatment for a health issue related to the eyes, opposition at the workplace due to your dominating attitude, Boring of money from banks to meet your expenses, and victory in legal matters. To accentuate the positive effects of Rahu's energy and mitigate the negative effects, do these simple remedies. On Mondays, burn special Rahu incense from Astroved and chant Om Rahave Namaha 108 times. Perform at least one Rahu Homa during this period. Now let's look at your K2 transit predictions for the next 18 months. July 13th, 2014 to March 21st, 2015, K2 transits through Revati star. Mercury, the planet which governs Revati, rules the fourth house and the seventh house from your moon sign. The fourth house indicates material comforts and the seventh house indicates relationships so these areas are likely to be triggered for you. During these eight months, you can expect enhancement of knowledge by participating in study groups, progress in marriage plans as per expectation, increase in income for business persons due to business growth, and good academic progress for students. From March 21, 2015 to November 28, 2015, K2 transits through Uttara Bhadrapada star. Saturn, the planet which governs, rules the 11th house and the 12th house from your moon sign. The 11th house indicates profit and the 12th house indicates loss, so these are the areas likely to be activated for you. During these eight months, you can expect the possibility of an overseas job opportunity, loss of some of your belongings during travel, 
a sharp difference of opinion with others, financial crisis due to some unexpected expenses, help from friends to overcome financial problems, and chances of investment in real estate and the purchase of property. From November 28, 2015 to January 30, 2016, K2 transits through Purva Bhadra Jupiter, the planet which governs this star, rules your moon sign and the 10th house from your moon sign. The moon sign is the first house which indicates self-improvement and the 10th house indicates career. So these are the areas likely to be triggered for you. During these two months, you can expect positive growth in your career, good reputation of generosity in your social circle, health problems due to gaining weight, delay in marriage plans for those who are single, hurdles in manifestation of some important goals, and an increase in spiritual interests and pilgrimage to holy places. To accentuate the positive effects of Ketu's energy and mitigate the negative effects, do these simple remedies. On Sundays, burn Ketu incense from Astraved and chant Om Ketuve Namaha 108 times. Perform at least one K2 Homa during this period. For an even greater impact, perform a Homa every six months for Kala Bhairava, the deity of time with the power to control the unfavorable effects of both Rahu K2. We sincerely hope these Rahu K2 transit predictions were useful to you. To download a free PDF with more details for your specific moon sign and to order your remedies, please visit www. Astrovid.com